had this really cool experience flying back from California and it's been haunting me for days and I keep getting a little bit more and more glimpses of this vision that I was given um, every day and especially those moments where I f am quiet for it to come. Um, but I've been noticing around me in the world and listening to friends and colleagues talk about past relationships and why didn't they work out and what the theme has been is that we always think that relationships in our life end because we weren't loved and something is wrong with us that we did not receive that love in our life that we need to work on something or it always goes back to why didn't they love me when really at the end of the day they did love us in fact in many instances profoundly but when relationships end badly we tend to think that we weren't loved at all and that person does something let's say even sometimes terrible that makes us think that they didn't love us and we think negatively about them and we're really angry at them and the vision that I was shown was that that is really absolutely not true at all that in those moments where we got to spend with those people they actually did love us and if we are capable of just removing the anger and some of the pain out of the memory of those relationships, we have the opportunity to see and remember the love that we experience because you, we definitely experience love in moments. It's just that that love didn't last the way we expected it to last. And I say expected because we, you know, the memory is something that collapses all the time together into these small moments in time. And for that reason that we forget a lot of the times um, the things that we loved about the people in our life or the good times that we have. And all those times become overshadowed by these memories of lack and pain and not good enough. And whereas quite often all of those relationships were relationships that we needed to have to open, it up, uh, open us up to actually experience more. And so one of the things that I was able to see is how those men in my life actually gave me so much. I mean, just so much that I just was filled with such awe and such love, remembering each one of them of how much they actually did love me. Um, and those relationships really didn't end very well, but I can look back and remember the things that they did for me and how they tried and understanding that they loved me from that love. I was able to grow more um, and grow to a different place, a different vibration, if you want to call it, whatever you want to call it to allow myself to experience something different and something new. And without those moments in time with those people, I wouldn't be where I am today. I was listening to Abraham Hicks this morning and she was telling um, a guy was on there saying to her that he was really looking for that deep love in his life and why hasn't the love of his life come? And what she said to him was that, what do you mean? like? you have had the opportunity to love so many people around you and can't those people around you be that the temporaries until that one comes um, and I found this to be so profound because what I realize is that we're always in a place that we can love others that we can give love to others and we can really receive love from others but we tend to cut ourselves off because it doesn't look the way we want it to look it doesn't feel the way we want it to feel or those people are not doing the things we want them to do whereas if we just sit for a moment and just look at all the really amazing good things that happen and the and have grace and gratitude for the things that people are doing for us we would actually experience so much more and feel full because the world is really full but we're always chasing this dream of what love should be 
instead of allowing ourselves to really feel the love coming in so many directions and from our higher power that loves us exactly the way we are. We are looking for it instead from one person, one person, and we're basing our lovableness on one relationship. And I know that many people may have families that don't love them, but you know, other people step in. There's always somebody in the universe that steps in to give you kindness and some sort of love. If you're giving and really being with someone, you receive so much back, but you have to be open to it. So this God wink was pretty profound for me because it just showed me my whole life in one moment of how much I've actually been offered. And I just want to invite you all that it is true for everyone. We're all offered the same amount of love and grace and literally everything. It's in the ground, it's in the trees, it's in the people that you meet on the streets, as you walk down the street, as you exhale, it's somebody else's inhalation. And as they exhale, you're inhaling them. And so connection is in so many things. You don't have to rush and break your neck and put up with so much to receive it. It really is in every single thing that we do. But you have to allow yourself to notice the small things and feel gratitude for those things. And if you sit long enough, you might recognize that that ex that you can no longer stand was really loving you the best that they could. They were loving you the best that they could with what they knew how to do. So anyway, I just wanted to give you my little God wink for today.